SAPS 4 HANA provides a lot of standard classical workflows. You can activate them by using transaction SWE2. The majority of standard workflows are triggered through standard events related to some standard business objects or classes. When a particular event occurs in the system, for example, release of a purchase order, the corresponding event gets triggered, and this is the source of the event. When a particular receiver, in our case, the standard workflow, receives this event, the corresponding workflow gets triggered. This transaction basically makes a link between this event source and the event receiver. When this event is linked, then the corresponding workflow gets activated, if the link gets broken, then the workflow is deactivated. Let's see an example of how this is done. Say you need to activate this standard workflow in the system. If you open the Triggering Events tab of this standard workflow using Transaction PFTC, you'll see that this workflow gets triggered when this event is triggered for this standard business object. This is the source of the event. Next, open Transaction SWE2 and browse this business object type, event, and receiver type. Select the Linkage Activated checkbox to complete the activation of this workflow. This figure shows the event linkage between the workflow and the business object event. If you want to add a custom check to decide whether the workflow should trigger or not, you can use the Check Function Module field. To determine the workflow template dynamically, you can use the Receiver Type Function Module field here. The details of these two function modules are shown in the figure. To keep up on all things SAP, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on a new video.